Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we are here now with a suggested build for Empress and more or less, um, let's see how she fares in the other departments, whether it's survivability and the other things that we need to talk about. So off we are to her skills. Let's uh, try to review her skills and uh, let's uh, have a great understanding on how she does. So. Attack is your pistol shot. Range is six lots. Attacks an enemy and starts from the first line. So attack speed is intermediate. Uh, it's, it's expected because she is a support. Upgrade effect boosts the damage from basic attacks by 25 and another 25 at level 3. For her ultimate, so over, overdrive key, initial energy is 60. Boost the crit chance of all allies in the same line. So in her own line. So you have to make sure that you place that if you want to boost boost a a crit chance of a specific figure it has to be the same line with empress not just within the battlefield so she has to be at the back and also she does this by giving them 25 percent for seven seconds and attacks the current target enemy so any energy regeneration is six per second upgrade effect mark the, tar the current target for uh, enemy for seven seconds who then takes 25 more ultimate damage okay so additional more damage for the marked target enemy and at level three empress instantly restores 100 energy when the marked enemy dies so this most likely will be good if it's usually mobs and it's, if it's usually um squishy mobs moving on to her passive so it it's mankind's garden at the start of the battle boost the crit chance of all allies by 10 so aside from boosting um figures on the same team in in her line she boosts everybody's uh crit chance by 10 percent so whenever an ally kills an enemy or their ultimate lands a crit resource 20 energy to them which is nice. So again, um, there's a bonus for them to land a crit. They get energy. And there is really a cycle to how she helps them in one way or the other. So this effect only triggers once every 7 seconds for every single ally. So obviously, this, it's, it's not infinite. This has a cooldown of some sort. So upgrade effect also gains healing and dispels one random debuff on them when restoring energy. And level 3 allies with the buff granted at the start of the battle. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, start of the battle deal additional frost damage with their basic attacks. Crit against marked enemies. So this one, the pioneer, this is based on, on her adornment. This is additional her passive so boosts her passive uh boosts all damage by 10 percent for seven seconds to any ally whether their immune their ultimate lands a crit and also frosts the target for seven seconds so not a bad adornment to have if you have it for her okay so that is the overview of her skills i am actually looking at what her weaknesses are uh and and the strength so Basically, her strength would be good damage for, from her ultimate, which is sometimes rare in in specialists. And oh yeah, specialists uh, because she's support. So, but she has good damage there. Her only problem, guys, is going to be her survivability or her health. So, moving on to her parts. So, as you can see here, the ones that I recommend only is going to be an ultimate set for the four piece set you're not gonna go to another four piece set she's gonna have to have the ultimate uh four piece set and for the two piece set either you give her a crit set defensive set or hp set so whichever you value most then you're going to have to choose from those three. I use the crit set here because I wanted to, since she, she gives a buff even to herself, um, I'd like to up her crit as well because, again, 
Her ultimate has good damage, so I want to take advantage of that. I'm gambling off her survivability. We'll see down the line whether I change that to HP or to defense. But at this point, it's going to be crit. Your, op your other options would be defense and HP. Okay, so moving on to the adornment. So this one, I got this one on uh, with the event um, on, on the way into getting dead master so this you can get this on the way to getting dead master if you want to get dead master um i'll show it to you guys in a while and for temporarily my badge for her is going to be end time ultimate badge sad to say the two badges that uh, uh i will i'm uh, sorry the, the only badge that i'm recommending for her i don't have but this one is a good substitute boost damage by 20 when unleashing the ultimate stacks up to five times and lasts up until the battle ends the one that i'm recommending let's go to your gallery guys it's a specialist badge so immortal heaven aid badge so specialist ex exclusive boost ultimate power by 30 percent which is bigger um after unleashing the ultimate has a 61 percent chance to unleash it again but does not trigger twice in a row so this is what i'm recommending for her badge not even her her what you call her her exclusive badge we'll get to that later this one is what i'm I'm really, really um, endorsing for you guys to get. If you have the means to get this, please do. Let's take a look at her um, her exclusive badge. It's actually located together with her adornment in Rare Earth Collection Operation. So you have the opportunity to get it here. This is the badge that I'm talking about. Okay, so this one, the Eternal Chariot badge, I'm I'm not recommending this because as you can see here, boost the mark units ultimate damage taken only by five. When whenever an ally initial ultimate, the holder deals damage 120% of their attack, the damage is subject to ultimate power bonuses. So I would rather choose the other badge. This one, this effect is also good, but it's for me at this point um th th it's subject to a lot of conditions like uh it deals 120 percent but the damage subject to ultimate power bonus so again this has a lot of um there's a lot of conditions to be to to meet that is why i don't like this badge um this is the adornment that i'm talking about that you if you're on your way to getting dead master you're gonna get it here so please do use this uh if you have this right now okay so for team composition most of the time you'll be able to all be you'll be needing to pair her up or she or figures would have a greater uh benefit from her because of the boost in crit for those figures who really need the crit like for example ultraman dead master they're gonna need crit but she is generally very good for you know for all um dps units uh, of course crit would mainly benefit dps units uh because they would deal more damage okay so crit crit rate um then critical damage uh my only concern for her is you won't be able to bring a lot of supports because she's, re she's already support so definitely you'll be needing three dps three dps figures in a team of five so um you're gonna be using her so empress probably one healer to bring then the rest would be dps or if not for a healer you should have a a defender and the rest is dps so probably a defender two dps vanguards and one range or militarist dps uh beside or in the same row as empress so that is actually what i think you should do in terms of building a team for her because again if you don't build an attack team with empress i don't think she'll be helping your team that much um it uh her crit increase is will just be wasted and 
more or less you won't be you, you won't be able to take advantage of her buffs and a lot of things that she does but again she does a lot of things she does um energy regen buffs a little bit of healing there uh we don't know yet how much healing she gives but again for team comp she has to be in a dps team um how dps heavy you will have to determine that yourself um but my recommendation would be to at least three dps units the rest would be her uh either a healer or a defender okay so that is it and guys my final thoughts with the uh, empress i'm impressed actually again on how um this figure was created the base looks fantastic hopefully we could get our hands on these in the future all of the figures actually in figure fantasy i'd like to get my hands on if only you know the devs the publisher can give me uh, or can even you know give me the opportunity to buy a couple of figures i would really be happy to buy them showcase them if they're available um i'd like i really like to have these figures so again final thoughts the figure looks great uh, as far as empress is concerned she's a great all-around support but you really need to build a team around her specifically and by the way she has very good damage for a specialist um again she, she's gonna be great depending on the team that you put her in okay so that is it guys hopefully i was able to help you out with my review or my oh yeah my review and my suggestions for her gear and how to use her so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here